Are you looking for an easy way to control your MaxSpec Gyre 200 series flow pump? How about using the MaxSpec Synergy app? Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Carlos and I'll be your host for today. In this video, we will cover how to connect and access more advanced programming functions for the MaxSpec Gyre using the Synergy app right from your mobile device. Before we start though, let's go over what will be needed for this video. You will need a MaxSpec Gyre 200 series pump with controller running on firmware version 2.0 or higher. A MaxSpec Connect ICV6 module installed and programmed and the Synergy app installed on your iPhone or Android. This video assumes that you already have the Synergy app installed on your mobile device and a MaxSpec Connect ICV6 installed and connected to your home Wi-Fi. If you do not, then we recommend you pause this video, check out our MaxSpec Connect 101 video for full details and how-tos. In addition to the MaxSpec Connect ICV6, your Gyre 200 series controller must be running on firmware 2.0 or higher. To check the version installed on your controller, just unplug the controller from power while on and then reconnect it again. As the controller initializes, it will flash the firmware version installed. If your controller is running on firmware lower than 2.0, you must update the firmware first before proceeding. For instructions on how to update the firmware on your Gyre 200 controller, just type the address below on your browser. Now that you have all the prerequisites for this video, let's get started with MaxSpec Gyre Synergy App Control. To start, make sure that your MaxSpec Gyre pump is located within 30 feet of the MaxSpec Connect ICV6 module. Open your Synergy app and select MaxSpec Connect module. Now click on Control. You will now be able to add the device to your Synergy app. Tap on the plus symbol on the upper right hand corner. The Synergy app will now search for all available devices. Once the MaxSpec Gyre shows up on the list, it usually has the name MaxSpec-G, tap a check mark on the left side of the name and select Next on the upper right hand side. Before we start to program our controller, let's make sure to change the name so it's easy to configure later on. Tap on the gear icon to the right of the name and select Rename. Assign a name that is easy for you to remember. I'm going to call this pump controller XF280. Tap and confirm to save. Tap on the gear icon once again and then select firmware upgrade. The Synergy app will ensure that your gyre pump controller has the latest firmware installed. If you have multiple pump controllers, repeat the process for each individual controller. Speaking of multiple pumps, Synergy app allows you to control multiple pumps at the same time. This is easily accomplished by creating groups. To create a group, tap on the group icon on the upper right hand corner and then left to the plus symbol. Select MaxSpec Gyre as the group type, but you can also create groups for Racer X fixtures as well as the recurve. The app will show you a list of all pump controllers that are free and not previously assigned to any group. Set your group name. Select the controllers you would like to group together by tapping on the check mark to the left of the name. Now tap on the confirm button. Assuming that your gyres have their own individual flow schedules, the app reminds us that when devices are made part of a group, their individual schedules will be deleted to accommodate for the new group schedule. Tap the confirm button. Now that we're ready to program our controllers and pumps, select the controller from the non-group device or if you have created a group, select the group number from the grouped devices section and tap on control. Welcome to the EC setup page. MaxSpec and the Synergy app have worked very hard to make this simple and intuitive as possible. From this screen, you can select presets, which will allow you to select and run some of the pre-programmed flow patterns that MaxSpec has created for us. If you're looking for an easy and quick setup to get your gyros running, then we recommend you go this route. The flow patterns provided, especially the lunar tidal cycle and the ocean gyro cycle, are some of the most intricate patterns we have encountered, and they require zero programming. Just tap on the preset and the app will do all the work for you. 
If you're more of a hands-on approach and like to have more control over the entire flow schedule, then advanced programming is just for you. Tap on the advanced button. In this screen, you're able to set up your pumps to run a particular flow pattern 24 seven without changing, or you can create an intricate schedule of 24 different time points with up to 24 different flow patterns and intensities. If you want to run your pump the same 24 seven, then tap on manual button on the upper right. You will now be provided with flow pattern descriptions for the pump attached to the controller. If you have two pumps attached, then you will see A pump on the top half and B pump on the bottom half. To modify either of the pumps, just tap on A or B to reveal the settings window. Here you can specify the different water movement modes, as well as the individual variables for each mode. To change the mode, just tap on the current water movement mode and select the one you desire. Click confirm to save. Based on the mode selected, you will be able to configure different flow variables. When done, click on the check mark icon to save and transmit the information directly to the controller and pump. When done, tap on the X to close the setup screen. Now tap on the second pump and repeat the process. When finished, do not forget to tap on the check mark icon to save your changes and transmit them to the controller and pump. If you're looking to create a schedule of different flow patterns, then we must switch to the auto mode. On this screen, tap on the auto icon on the upper right hand corner. To create your first time period, just tap on the right edge of the default period one. Here you're able to specify the flow modes for each attached pump. Tap on the zero clock right below the flow chart and set it to 0900. Now tap on the water movement mode and select pulsing mode. Set the max flow variable to 100% and the pulsing time variable to 10 seconds. Click on the X icon to close. Tap on B pump. Slide link up method to the right. Now select anti-synchronized and set your max flow variable to 100%. Click on the OK icon. Now let's create a flow pattern for the evening. To create a new time period, just tap on the plus sign. Select the starting time. We're going to set it up to 2100 hours or 9 p.m. Now tap on the icon all the way to the right of period two. Just like period one, we now have to configure the two pumps. Tap on pump A. Set the water movement mode to random and then set the max flow variable to 40%. Click on the X to close pump A settings and then tap on pump B. Set the water movement mode to random as well with a max flow variable of 40%. Click OK. We have just created a schedule that will run our pumps at 100% pulsing from 9 a.m. till 9 p.m. and then change to a gentle but random flow from 9 p.m. until 9 a.m. the next morning. As always, Click on the check mark to save and transmit the program to your controller and pump. If you wish to delete a particular time period, just tap on the minus icon. Select the time points you want to delete by tapping on the check mark to the left of the time period and then tap OK. Confirm your action and the point will be removed. After removing the point, do not forget to again tap on the check mark to save and transmit the changes to the controller and the pump. Well, that is all for this video. If you have any issues or questions, do not hesitate to visit our support portal at coralv.com forward slash support. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, follow us on Twitter at CoralView, and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash CoralView Aquarium Products. See you next time.